Java Mini is kind of, I, I think of it as like one of our hidden gems. It seems like not a lot of people know about it. It's just kind of some regulars that go there and it's one of a uh, few outposts that actually have uh, a nice sand beach. Um, there's like some kind of waterfalls and rapids and just, it's a very scenic lake. It's about, uh, I would say maybe 90 to 100 miles away from our air base. When we were building the addition uh, in the winter time, I actually went with my dad and uh, a little crew and uh, it was one of the coldest days of the entire winter when we were coming back. Um, I actually woke up that morning at Shabamini with my hair frozen to the wall <laughs> and uh, we had to pack up and, and drive back on the snow machines. It was absolutely crazy. It was a crazy adventure, but uh, it was totally worth it. I mean, the cabin's beautiful as you're gonna see. It's a great lake for numbers and for quality. Um, and just, it's very scenic uh, as you'll, you'll see uh, on this little trip that we're about to take to Shabu Mini. Drop bug spray? We've got bug spray, yeah. <laughs> you thought about it for a He's like It was amazing, Shabu Mini Lake. We we loved it. It was uh, it, it was quite a trip. We the best one yet. The fishing was fantastic. The weather was fantastic. The weather means so much when it comes to fishing. Beautiful, calm, warm. You know, every day we got back from fishing, we had a nice long swim. The water temperature was great, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous lake. The cabin was great, again, just like all of Clark's cabins that we've seen. Uh, really, really comfortable, very roomy, a lot roomier than we're used to seeing at a, at a fly-in camp. All the conveniences of home, um, comfortable beds, uh, newer mattresses. Uh, the thing that we, we really noticed, I think, that we talked about was the generator power at the Clark's camps is a real plus with reliable electricity. <laughs> Power. That really allows you to, to be a lot more comfortable than, uh, than uh, something like solar power and so, so we're really, really impressed with that good reliable Honda generators, it's really, really nice. Fishing was amazing. I think Brent outfished me number-wise. but I outfished him size-wise. She caught a 35 inch pike. 35 and a quarter to be exact. Pardon me, 35 and a quarter. <laughs> Really recommend anybody who goes there uh, fish the the north uh, North Rapids and the South River. Um, really, really, just fish just stacked up in there. And, and if you fish the South River, just stick to the beaver houses. Every beaver house on that river is just loaded with walleye, and so you don't have to go any further than that. And beyond that, hundreds and hundreds of places to fish. Yeah, this trip we really kind of stretched out and brought some new recipes with us for creative camp food. We did the bacon wrap walleye. Mm -hmm. Which was delicious and just slow, slow roasted on the grill with basted and barbecue sauce and well, what a what a different way to cook walleye. That was Loretta's idea. So yeah. anything was... wrapped in bacon is delicious. Mm -hmm. so. 
And for dessert, yeah, we ended up, uh, I had um, pre-made um, the ingredients to go into the apple pie mix that you just put into tin foil. Did it in the campfire mm -hmm. coals, so yeah, so we're getting a real inventory of creative camp uh, cooking recipes, so that's a lot of fun. My contribution was bannock wrapped hot dogs, uh, deep fried uh, in the deep fryer. They were just delicious, so can't recommend those enough. Those are those are a real treat. We fished a, a lot at the North Rapids on Shabamani. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. You fish right at the base of the rapids. Uh, easy place to fish, safe, but just gorgeous for pictures. But the fishing was just, I mean, we used, we were just saying to one another, it was just literally idiotic, the number of fish that we were catching. is just drop two lines down, two fish in the boat, and big two, like the whole. Consistent 20 to 22. Oh, yeah. See? yeah. yeah. Nice, dark, dark gold color. small one up here. We really, really enjoyed the, the waterfall. Went back to there a number of times. Just, uh, you couldn't get any more scenic of a spot to be loading up on big fish than that. Great place to stop and have a rest. Uh, uh, good place to have a swim uh, between uh, between fish. Uh, there's Shore a lunch. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful spot to have a shore lunch there. There's a beautiful setup there with a fire pit and grate and place to f uh, clean your fish. I said at one point, I said that might have been as good a fishing as I've ever seen in my life. I've been to quite a few places, quite a few remote lakes in the north, and this was right up there. back in the afternoon for a, a bit of a bit of a rest uh, after hauling fish out we would always have a nice swim and then uh, have a drink on the deck uh, just sort of overlooking the lake really peaceful spot and then every night before bed we took a long swim the it's a sand beach uh, right at the camp and uh, drops off very very gradually you can walk out probably 150 yards before it's over your head and like we said, it's in a calm, sheltered bay, so a beautiful place to swim. So that was that was one of the highlights of my day anyways, was our evening swim. And it wasn't weedy, so that made it nice too. It was comfortable and yeah. yeah. We didn't you didn't worry about getting eaten by anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like being able to fly to an outpost and uh, just fish where nobody else, seems like nobody else is. seen lake after lake and kind of they kind of all blend into one another but up there it really struck me as quite a quite a gorgeous lake so yeah we were definitely keep home impressed. Mm -hmm.